Anna Denobilis monolacornis, or the yellow banded millipede, is from the order Spirobolita of round backed millipedes and class Diplopoda and belongs to the Arthropoda group. Anna Denobilis monolacornis, known as the yellow banded millipede or bumblebee millipede, is a species of millipede in the Rhinochrysidae family. At present, there are over 528 nominal species and 23 subspecies of Rhinochrysidae, placed into 27 genera and 3 subgenera. The bumblebee millipede is native to the Caribbean and also has been introduced into the southeastern United States. Some traits about the yellow banded millipede or the bumblebee millipede is that it is bilaterally symmetrical with a segmented body. It has a single pair of antenna, and the mandibles and the nathalochilarium are enlarged and specialized for chewing. The head is rounded, followed by an elongated cylindrical trunk containing the thorax and abdomen, and is composed of segments or rings. The first segment is wide and lacks legs. Each thoracic segment has a single pair of legs, whereas the abdominal segment has two pairs of segmented legs. The most posterior unit of the body, the telson, bears the anal opening and lacks legs. On each abdominal segment, there are two spiracles which act as lungs and allow air to be delivered to the trachea. In males, the gonopores lie directly at the base of its legs. Adult coloration is black with variable yellowish, yellowish to lime green bands, red legs, and red antenna. Its length is approximately 45 millimeters or about 1.77 inch, with a maximum width of approximately 4.2 millimeters or about 0.17 inches. The cuticular exoskeleton is hard and contains protein, lipid, chitin, and calcium carbonate. The exoskeleton sheds at intervals. The bumblebee millipede is native to the Greater Antilles, the Lesser Antilles, Trinidad, Tobago, Venezuela, Guyana, Suriname, Brazil, and it has been introduced and is considered mildly invasive to South Florida. These millipedes are generalist and opportunistic detritivores, which feed on a variety of decaying plant material colonized by microbial decomposers or bacteria and fungi. The millipede walks on soil surfaces and occasionally climbs on dead wood. It likes to burrow through the soil and leaf litter rummaging for food. They are evolved in the ecosystem nutrient cycling and they consume approximately 5-10% to 10 of annual leaf litter production. They also will contribute up to 25% of leaf litter reduction when other invertebrates such as earthworms are scarce. Very little information has been published about the reproduction of this species. Mating is conducted face to face and the pair often remains coupled for a long time. The female lays her eggs in a nest and guards them carefully. The number of eggs is variable and the young will ingest fecal pellets from the adult which provides them with bacteria to sustain them. Juveniles will only bear one pair of legs per segment as well as lot color within the first few months of development. With each shed, more and more legs and segments will develop. Juveniles are very dis difficult to distinguish from adults once they have attained their adult coloring. Bumblebee millipedes are not dangerous. They do not bite and are harmless to humans. However, remember that a millipede can secrete toxic and irritating fluids when feeling threatened. They are slow moving and very calm animals. They are docile and can be handled when careful. Because of the secretion of the irritating or irritating fluids, you should always wash your hands after handling them or wear plastic gloves. When they fall, you can damage your millipedes, so please be careful. Although you can handle them, Without posing a danger to yourself, you should consider that they do not like being picked up or touched. Often, you will see millipedes curl up into a ball to protect themselves from any harm or danger. This behavior is a sign of stress, so make sure you don't pick them up unless you need to, 
and handle them too often. If you have anything else to add because you have a bumblebee millipede, I'd love to hear it. Please leave a comment down below.